giving honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, giving honor to Bishop Evans and Co-Pastor Evans. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. And thank you for how you always support my husband and I in ministry. Amen. You show up. I know you're busy. And you just take the time to come over and support. And we thank you. And he sends his love and his grace. Yes, you did send him out <laughs> I want to give honor to my wonderful husband, Bishop Candidate Lanier Twyman, in his absence. Okay. Okay. I also would like to give honor to First Lady Peggy, Minister Peggy Mack, yes. who is my spiritual mom in ministry, yes. and who I am looking right. forward to hearing today because it's been a long time. <laughs> and y'all know there's a word of out. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. Well, greetings, women on fire of the New yes. Living Way Ministry. Yes. I bring you greetings, yes, on behalf of all these wonderful first ladies and pastors up here. Don't they look lovely? Uh, yes, 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 yes. They've been doing this a lot longer than me, so I'm just gleaning. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. I also bring you greetings from the D.C. State Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship, where my husband is a bishop candidate. And on behalf of St. Stephen Baptist Church, he serves as a pastor. Amen. And I serve as the director of Women Walking and Worship Women's Ministry. All right. Ladies, as you begin this season for and about women in your ministry, be sure that you meditate on the theme that the Lord gave your co-pastor. Right. Women owning and walking in their new destiny. All right. Your co-pastor didn't just pick a theme because it was cute. She labored before the Lord on your behalf and was given a word for the women. She's been called to lead for this season. I got excited when I saw the theme and immediately thought of how the next generation of women walk into a new destiny based on the legacy of our foremothers. Mm. I encourage you to be confident and walk as if you own your destiny. Yeah. All right. Realize that you are fearfully and wonderfully made okay. and that God has a destiny.